All right, folks, in this lesson, we're going to talk about fiscal policy, mostly in the United States, but it works pretty much the same way in other countries as well. Uh, let's go ahead and define fiscal policy. Fiscal policy is the use of taxation and government spending to regulate the aggregate market and the economy. All right, so what's happening here in fiscal policy? Remember we said that uh, Congress, uh, the lawmakers in a country, and in the United States that's the U.S. Congress, that's the Senate and the House of Representatives, uh, what they do is they are in charge of taxation and government spending. If the, if the federal government is going to spend money, Congress, is they're the ones that made it happen, or they're the ones that decided how much would be spent. They don't decide necessarily always how it's going to be spent, but they get to decide how much is going to be spent, and they get to decide uh, who, gets, who in the government gets the money to spend it. Okay? So, uh, so they are in charge of two main things. They're also, uh, Congress is in charge of taxing people. Congress passes the laws and makes the decisions about how much people and businesses and other parties have to pay in taxes to the federal government. Okay? So they make two main decisions, and that's what we're going to focus on in fiscal policies. We're going to focus on the idea of taxes and government spending, and that's what we're going to get to in just a minute. And what they do is, what Congress does is, they use their ability to increase and decrease taxes and to increase and decrease government spending to regulate the aggregate market. Really, mainly, they're regulating aggregate demand. Okay? Uh, so they regulate the aggregate market, and in that way, they're managing the economy. Okay? Um, you know what I'm going to do? Regulate the aggregate market. I'm going to throw the word manage in here and manage the economy. Okay? So they use taxation. They use their ability to impose taxes or to relieve taxes and their decisions about government spending. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to manage the economy. They're trying to make, you know, they're trying to close recessionary gaps or close inflationary gaps. They're trying to maintain a healthy economy. And the only means that they really have to, to maintain a healthy economy is by, uh, is by affecting taxes and by affecting government spending. And the way that they do this, the, the, um, the instrument through which they do this is called the federal budget, okay? The federal budget. Uh, and I'm just, gonna use, I'm just gonna put the word budget and we'll just say that it's the federal budget, okay? What is a budget? Well, a budget is a plan. It's a plan for how much money will be. And there are two things that we do with money, or two things that affect our budget in terms of money. There's money coming in, and there's money going out. There's income, and then there's spending. Okay? And so a budget is a plan for how much money will be A, received as income, And secondly, paid out as expenses. Okay, now, in Congress or in the federal budget, the federal budget, you know, the, the government receives income and they also pay out expenses. And these two ideas relate directly to this definition of fiscal policy. See, the money that's received as income, that's through taxation. The taxes that the government receives from businesses and people and other entities, that is the income for the government. The government can only get money if we give it to them in taxes. Okay? And so uh, the budget includes a plan for how, many, how much the government will receive in taxes. They estimate, they, they set tax rates and other, other kinds of tax policy and they try to estimate how much money they're going to receive in a particular year. Then 
the budget is a plan for how, includes a plan for how the money's going to be spent. How is the money going to be spent? Well, that's government spending. Okay, so we're going to put here, I'm just going to put a capital G because we know that the capital G in the total expenditure formula represents government spending. Okay, and so uh, they are trying to make a plan. This federal budget really only has two things going on. Now, it's more complicated than this, but generally speaking, there's only two things going on. How are we going to get the money and how much money are we going to get and how are we going to spend the money and how much money are we going to spend? And that is the federal budget. And because Congress is in charge of the federal budget in the United States, they are able to affect the economy through the budget and we call that fiscal policy. Now, there are three states, three situations that the budget can, can uh, hold um, or can experience. Now we know, now I want you to think about your life. Let's say you have a job and maybe you do, maybe you don't, but you'll eventually have a job probably, hopefully, um, that you have income as well, right? Let's say that you receive a paycheck that's $300, right? And so, uh, but then you also have to pay for things. Let's say you have to buy some food. You have to, um, let's say you have to pay a, a you know, electric bill or something like that. So you have to decide how you're going to pay out your, uh, how you're going to use that $300. And there's three, you have three possibilities. You could spend um, less than, you could spend less than that $300. You could spend equal to that $300, or you could spend, and I know this sounds totally ridiculous, but in the modern world we live in, or you could spend more than that $300. So let's say your bills, uh, the, thing, the things that you want to spend your money on, are higher than $300. Well, in that case, you would actually have to take debt you would have to take a loan from a bank or from a family member or from a friend. Uh, typically, one of the most common ways for people to take debt to spend more than their income is a credit card. A, a credit card basically is a, um, it's, it's a debt instrument or, well, I mean, it's, it's connected to a debt instrument. When you slide your credit card at the store, you're borrowing money from the bank. So let's say that you're buying something for $23.52 you slide the credit card and instantaneously the bank that issued the credit card, they're giving you a loan right there on the spot for $23.52. Now you already agreed to the terms of the loan when you signed up for the credit card. So if that credit card is charging 16% you know, interest, then you have already previously agreed that whenever they give you a loan on that credit card that you'll pay 16% interest. Okay. Uh, be careful about that. That's dangerous stuff. So you're taking a loan out. So you actually can spend $350 when your paycheck was only $300 if you take out debt. Now, uh, if you spend equal to that $300, then you have balanced you have balanced your um, uh, your spending and your income. And if you spend less than the $300, well, then you're going to have some money left over that you can do one of two things with that money. You can either save it up for later, to spend later. Um, I should have mentioned that too. You can spend more than your income uh, if, if you use previous savings. So we're gonna say debt or savings. Sorry, I didn't, I was really focused on the US government um, and we really don't have any savings, we have debt. Um, so uh, generally speaking. So, but if you spend less than your $300, you'll have some money left over, okay? Um, and so that's what we're going to focus on here now. The, U the U.S. government has the exact same thing. Their income is taxes. And the U.S. government, so if government spending will be here and taxes will be here, you know, well, let's just put the word taxes. So when... The word, or when the government is spending money, they can spend more than how, many, how much taxes they received. If they do that, then government spending will be, or taxes will be less than government spending. Or we can say government spending will be greater than, the, than taxes. 
if the government spending spends the same amount as their taxes, well, that means government spending and taxes will be equal. And if uh, the government spends less than how much they receive in taxes, uh, well, then that means that government spending is less than taxes or taxes are greater than government spending. And the reason I'm giving you this little, this little uh, explanation here is we're about to go into three very important concepts of the federal budget, and that is the federal budget can either be uh, balanced or it can be, uh, we can have a budget surplus or we can have a budget deficit, okay? So let's go ahead and look at that right now. Okay, so these are the three possibilities for the federal budget. We can either have a balanced budget or a budget deficit or a budget surplus. It's a really simple idea and I kind of just explained it. So a balanced budget is a situation where income is equal to spending. All right, so with a balanced budget, very simply, uh, we have government spending is equal to taxes. Okay, so government spending, G, is equal to taxes. How much money the government is collecting is exactly how much money the government is spending. That is a balanced budget. Okay, a budget deficit is a situation where spending exceeds income. Okay, so when the federal government is running a budget deficit, that means that they are spending more money than taxes that they are receiving. Okay, so under a budget deficit, government spending is greater than taxes. Okay, and then a budget surplus is the opposite. It's a situation where income exceeds spending. So with a budget surplus, the taxes that are being received, the income, is greater than how much, is, how much the government is spending, okay? And so we have, so another way to say that is that government spending is less than taxes. So taxes exceed spending, okay? Now, um, so basically the idea here is that the government or, the, or Congress through fiscal policy, can actually manage the economy simply by saying, hey, we're going to run a budget deficit, either by increasing government spending or by decreasing taxes or both. Because once you start in a balanced budget, you can go into a budget deficit. There's two ways to get government spending to be larger than taxes, and that's either by increasing government spending or by decreasing taxes. Either way, you're going to wind up where government spending is greater than taxes, and you'll be in a budget deficit. Or the government may say, well, the action we need to take to manage the economy is we need to run a budget surplus. And from a balanced budget, uh, we can have a budget surplus where government spending is less than taxes in one of two ways. We can either uh, decrease government spending or we can increase taxes. And that's what we're going to look at next.